Hello guys and welcome to your basically 8th C++ beginners tutorial. Uh, if you remember from our previous tutorial we talked about if and else statements and on this tutorial we'll continue with that but we'll basically include, uh, we'll basically get the user's input and compare that instead of just comparing something we, we chose. So to get start to, to to just get started, go right ahead and open the main.cpp from our previous tutorial. And if you don't have that or you forgot to save it, just just go on the source file, add, add a new source file, and then get started. So uh, just pause the video if you haven't done that already, and then resume. Okay, now let's get started. So first, what we need is to go inside our main function and declare two double variables and we'll, we'll, I'll call it num1 and num2 you can more certainly call it anything you like then we will ask the user to enter so I'll ask him to enter number 1 and then I'll say equal then I'll store the user's input in num1 then we'll do the same thing for number 2 Type enter number two. There's an equal sign there. There we go, and we'll store that in num two. All right. So now that we got the user's input, basically stored it in the two variables we declared as doubles, we want to compare the two numbers. So let's type if num one, which is the first input, is greater than num two, greater than the second input. What we want to do is we'll display just a message and type C out. We'll display num1, which is the first number. Then between we'll display is greater than. Then we'll display num2. And then we'll just put an M line there. So what we just basically display is the first number. Let's say the user enters 3 and 1. So what we'll this will say is 3 is greater than 1 then if that is not true and let's say number two is greater the num2 variable is greater than or user second input is greater than the first one what we're going to do so for this case we have to type else and then go on the next line and type if so else if num1 is less than num2 what we want to do here is basically display the opposite so we'll type c out uh, num1 or we can do it the other way we can just type num2 instead of num1 and then the same message is greater than num1 and then put an here so if the first statement if the first if statement doesn't hold true and instead the second the first number is less than the second number then it will display number two is greater than number one but then there's also another case. Let's say the numbers are equal. What is going to do then? What we have to do then? We'll just type down here. We'll type else, which our last one. We'll just display a message. So if none of those two, if none of those two statements holds true, then we'll just display num one. Let's put here and num two. Let's put another message here. Of, uh, R equal and then we end it here so let's go over it uh, one more time over this code we wrote it's fairly easy so what we did is basically declare two variables two double variables we asked the user to enter both numbers then we compare if the first number is greater than the second number if so we display this the following message number one is greater than number two Else, if that is not true, and uh, number one is less than number two, we'll display that number two is greater than number one. And then finally, if the numbers are equal, we want to display that number one and number two are equal. Uh, one more thing you want to learn, guys. Uh, in our main function here, to terminate the code, we must have, uh, you know how we have return zero, basically which I forgot to put here and I should certainly put here return zero but if you do so and, and you and you build the program and run it without debugging it will run so fast that you know, the window will close before you even know it so to basically pause the window all you have to do is just type system and you gotta type pause 
inside so you can basically see the result without the window closing so fast alright now that we're done let's build the program and see if it actually works so down here you see it compiling it was built successfully and now let's just run it so here we go let's enter number one I enter for number one enter three then I enter one and it says this is our first message basically is if it's basically this message right here that number one is actually it's the first message is that number one is greater than number two is this message right here that we got let's retry it that's basically this time let's go ahead and type one and three we'll get the same thing let's say our two numbers are equal one and one well let me know the one says one and one are equal so that was the tutorial for today next tutorial we'll go into something more interesting um, so please stick around and please check out all my other videos and please please subscribe to my channel and all friend invites are also very helpful and i'll be i'll be I'm more than happy to accept or if you guys friend request me that means a lot to me so please check out all my videos and please subscribe guys that means a lot Thank you and we'll be back soon with another tutorial. Thanks once again.